Here's how to update your drivers for NVIDIA cards or G4 cards. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this is a video for you. Let's go. All right, the first step is to click the link in the description or head over to NVIDIA.com and then find GeForce drivers in here. And then once you're over here, we're gonna go ahead and click where it says download now to download the app that is going to let us to automatically update our drivers if we want to or manually update our drivers if we want to every time there's a new update. Now you could also do a manual driver search in here. If you wanna find your specific GPU in here, you could do that and then start the search. But if you just wanna get an app that will do that for you and all of that, all you have to do is press download now that will redirect you over here and then you want to go ahead and press download now one more time which is going to begin the download for the installer of the nvidia app now once you download that app i want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop you can find that app installer on your recent download history or the default downloads folder of your pc now once you get the installer on your desktop go ahead and double click on it after you double click the installer it will open and you might actually get an admin prompt just go ahead and press yes if that does come up just allow the app to open and then you'll be here on the installer where you, of course read through this and if you agree go ahead and press agree and continue and then the installation will begin after the installation finishes the app is going to launch by itself and you could choose in here which one is better for you i'm going to choose for gamers but if you're a creator you want to go ahead and choose that one go ahead and do so and then go ahead and press next in here i'm actually going to turn off the automatic setting in here to optimize my games and stuff but if you want to keep that on that's up to you then go ahead and press next and i'm also going to turn off the nvidia overlay i don't want to use that but if you want to use it you could keep it on in here as well go ahead and press next and then you now have the option of logging in with your nvidia account if you want to get rewards and stuff like that but i'm actually going to skip that and you could just press a skip to app if you want to do that and then now to update the drivers you're going to go down to where it says drivers on the left side in here and then if you already have an update ready it's going to say update right here or you could search for the most recent updates by pressing check for updates right here on the top and then it will tell you if you have any drivers ready now you have the newest driver already so i don't have to install anything but if you do have it in here all you have to do is press install go through the installation in there it's going to be pretty quick it's just going to have you select between custom and express installation i always do express and then just go through it and that's it you will update your drivers for geforce and then you could close this app now if you guys want your drivers to update automatically you will head over to settings in here on settings and their features in here you could go down to drivers and then you could press automatically download drivers and let me choose one to install you could turn that on if you want to download the drivers automatically as soon as they come out but i just have mine off and what i do is that i check every now and then to see if i need to update my drivers you could usually find this app right here on your tray icons down here you could usually find nvidia settings down here and then you could just go ahead and open it and check and when there's an update available once you hover over this icon it tells you in here there's an update available so yeah guys there you have it how to update your drivers for nvidia cards if this video helped you out don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time